Jorvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today I'm going to talk about a single-handed snake roll. Okay, This is a cast or a technique we can use. Uh, it's very common with spay rods or switch rods, but we can actually do all these casts with a single-handed rod. And this is a great way to get yourself tuned up for maybe steelhead fishing or salmon fishing, but it's also a great technique when you're trout fishing. So this snake roll. It's basically kind of swirling the rod around, if you will. And what we're going to do is it's a, uh, we're going to use this cast to change directions. So what we're going to have to do is use our imagination and imagine that I'm standing in a river and it's flowing downstream and I'm right-handed. So my rod is pointing where that line ends up right down here. And what I want to do is send that line straight out towards this camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rod and I'm going to make a, a roll, if you will. And what I'm trying to do is take my rod tip and actually draw a lowercase e. I go towards the bank, away from the bank, and notice now my line is set up so I can roll it out here. So watch again. Basically, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to set ourselves up for a roll cast, to send it out uh, to our target. When I make this swirl or this roll, what happens is my line is now pointing in my final target's direction. Now I can just make a simple roll cast and send it out. So that's the snake roll, you know, if I was casting right at the camera. I go away from myself or towards the bank, up, around. Now my line is pointing in that direction, roll that line out, and now I can catch that fish. So let's look at that snake roll now from the side. So now I'm standing here. I like to say you're drawing a lowercase e with this nine foot long rod. I'm gonna go towards the bank. Once I go towards the bank, then I'm gonna bring the rod tip up and come away from the bank and come under that line I just drew. Then I'm gonna end with that rod tip high. That's gonna get my line pointing in this direction. Then I'm just gonna do a roll cast. So it looks something like this. Towards the bank, away from the bank, and then around. Now my line's right here pointing in that direction. I can then roll that line out if it doesn't get stuck in the grass. So when we're making this roll, all right, this lower KC. What we need to do is make sure that we smoothly accelerate through the process. We're going to start slow, accelerate, and end high. Now we can make that forward cast right there. And that's the single-handed snake roll.